Hello Mila, hello Jack. Welcome to Storytime with Grandad again. Today's book is called Pingu the Star. Every Saturday, Pingu's dad liked to make a cake. While he mixed the ingredients, Pingu's mum always chattered away to him, telling him the week's news. Usually, Pingu and Pinga played quietly together, but not this Saturday. Pinga was blowing her new trumpet. I'll get my accordion and make a noise too, thought Pingu. Pingu wasn't very good at playing the accordion, and he made an awful noise. Pinga liked the sound of the clashing notes, but Dad didn't. That's not how you play it, Pingu, he said. Pingu crossly shook his accordion up and down. What a din it made. Poor Mum had to block her ears. That's enough for, enough for today, Pingu, said Dad finally. Pingu decided to visit Grandpa. He'll be sure to like my music, he thought. On his way, he passed a group of penguins having a serious talk. They need cheering up, thought Pingu, and started to play them a jolly tune. But the penguins rushed off in all directions as soon as they heard Pingu. There was Grandpa sitting outside his igloo, playing the accordion. Pingu was so pleased to see him. Nobody likes my music, he told Grandpa sadly. Grandpa asked Pingu to play for him and listened carefully. That's not bad, Pingu, said Grandpa kindly. But it could be a lot better. I'll teach you how to play properly. Grandpa leaned back and began to play a few notes. Now see if you can copy me, he said. You make it look so easy, said Pingu admiringly. Pingu copied the notes Grandpa was playing over and over again. That's right, Pingu, said Grandpa patiently. You're getting there. At last, Pingu got all the notes right. He and Grandpa played straight through the tune together, tapping their feet with excitement. Pingu rushed home. He couldn't wait to play the tune for the family. Not now, Pingu, said his mum. I've had enough noise for one day. Imagine everyone's surprise when Pingu started to play, and with no mistakes. More, more, shouted Pinga, drumming on her potty. The end. I really hope to see you soon. But bye for now, Mila. Bye-bye, Jack. Bye.